Capricorns, welcome. This is your heart spread read for January 2022. A love, romance, and relationship reading. Here, we're looking at you, this Seven of Swords, Devil, looking the other way. <laughs> Not really. This is strategic thinking. You know, figure out what you've been doing so much street, uh, strategic thinking about. I think about this Four of Wands person. This is the other person. This is their energy in and around love and relationship. That's actions. That's the building of a long-term, stable, committed relationship or marriage. So um, it'd be interesting to see them in the middle of the building of this uh, long-term marriage or relationship. Uh, this could be almost like jumping ship, I got to tell you. If not, it's like uh, you guys are trying to make this marriage happen. Um, um, but this strategic thinking, you're looking backwards. Um, I think it's you're helping them in some way. And the first way that you're helping them, Capricorn, is maybe in terms of how to think about things, how to put things in some kind of a perspective that's helpful to them, how, kind of like how to make plans, uh, you know, how to could be that kind of thing. Um, there must be some kind of distance separating you. Um, but they're in this energy of wanting, if this is not them in a long-term committed relationship, that one that they're building, it's uh, wanting to do so. And it could be because the overall energy is a nine of cups. You know, that's being uh, single and happy, and emotionally content. Um, you always say when you have the nine of cups, well, that, now you can have the ten of cups. So uh, it could be that energy. Man, I got to get the feeling kind of for both of you, you're coming from this energy. Uh, I'm just not certain here if you're like, it's coming out of energy of being helping them pull out of a relationship. Hey, man. Okay, so Capricorn, this is, uh, they're kind of dragging their feet on this. This could be someone you've been in a relationship with. And with the hangman clarifying it, um, in some matter, excuse my voice while I'm kind of not on camera, I'm like de trying to deal with these allergies. It's going to take a little time, I think. But so they're just in this timeout and uh, looking at things very carefully in a different way, maybe too in a more spiritual way. And what you're doing here is trying to influence him. That's what this is. Um, and I believe it's working because this is you going at them kind of with everything that you've got, you know. And it can, all about can be long as communication, but you putting a lot of energy, a lot of passion. And this is the way you're feeling. How are you feeling about them? That's what I want to see there. And that's like you're all in. You're you know you're you're going after them, you know. Uh, it's like uh, if you had an Aries Venus kind of energy or something. Um, and this is showing them, this is their energy for you. So it shows them being in the full position. So one thing I'd say off the bat, if, there, if there's any doubt, and I can see where maybe there might be, this is a lot of strategic thinking, thinking things through. Although I think you kind of got it figured out. Yours is you logicking everything out. And um, I think you're, you're good. But they're sincere. I mean, they're ready to start a, a whole new cycle with you. And then, you know, when you have the death card down below, uh, it, you know, you think about the fool's going to jump off the cliff to their death. So they really are in the process of <clears throat> really letting something go. Um, very much could be a marriage or a long-term long -term relationship or family even, or the energy of that. And wands is them being involved in that somehow, right? And then you come in with this eight of wands, pouring energy from yourself, relationship energy, right into them. So in the full, and you know, if you guys have been together, I mean, this is like a incredible physical uh, union and connection. Very fiery energy. Now, these two cards, this represents their advice for you uh, in the relationship, and that represents your advice in the relationship, the seven of one. So, um, it's kind of advising them that, yes, if you're going to have this new beginning with the Capricorn, you are going to have to have this death of the other part of your life. It, 
it may have been that they're they're not really married, but maybe you want the hangman. Maybe this is someone that's kind of hanging in that energy of it being in that uh, relationship and, you know, that kind of thing. And this is what has to be let go of. But you definitely seem to be all in. Now, on the seven of wands, it's all, uh, already, it's the righteous defense of the castle, okay? I always think of that. So that's how you got to look at it. It's when you need to stand up for something. But this is advice from spirit and how to deal with them. So, it because you have the two of cups here, I believe this is a lot about setting boundaries. It's two things. One, setting boundaries. You're going to have to be the one to do it. You've got seven swords energy. You know, uh, you know, mistake, you've got seven of wands here. So you know what to do with swords. Now you're going to have to do it. It's going to be in terms of the relationship, how you deal with them. So it's setting limits perhaps for them, but it's also perhaps, you know, also helping them sort of defend themselves here. Uh, like teaching them how to set limits, for example, you know, uh, it's not so much taking out to show them how to shoot a gun could end up going that way, but it's like saying, you know, well, you don't have to put up with that. What you can do is say no, you know, it's like you don't have to give an excuse when you say no, you're an adult, you can just say no, and you kind of help them in that way, but this is the advice of spirit for the relationship as a whole. I consider it the most important card in the eight card heart spread, and the two of cups i mean that's coming together that's each of you giving each other your cup of love that's what this is talking about <clears throat> excuse me so it's a matter of getting there and you could say that you're going a long way and you're giving it everything you got but they are too in a way they're giving it it's more like you're more doing and they're more risking and there there's also i believe this is your person here capricorn Doing a trust fall into your arms. That's kind of what that gives to me. But I got to say, this is the sweet part of this reading. The way it's kind of lit here. It's very angelic. You've got the temperance, the Sagittarius card. So you end up tickling with, I think, too, where the bottom of the deck comes in. This nine of cups here. You end up with a relationship that really flows with the nine of cups. It's emotionally satisfying for both of you. But it's not like a uptight relationship or, or a, you know, a toxic or, or kind of relationship that's uh, uh, where you're too enmeshed or anything. It's like you're just really flowing uh, and you're both feeling good. When you have the temperance, I don't think you feel there's no red flags, there's no problems. You know, it's supposed to be about patience, uh, but it's about, you know, also things flowing along and being patient because you're too much to worry about. Everything's fine. You're not uncomfortable. Everything's cool. It's a really high vibe and sag energy. Um, it could imply, too, uh, coming over the two of cups that, you know, all of this takes a minute. This is what's being worked out here. It's taken a minute. But the promise here is uh, of a, a beautiful uh, success here with temperance. Uh, right there guys in the outcome of the heart spread so thank you Capricorns uh, please do smash the like button if you do like it at all uh, feel free to share it on any platform you can think of and uh, do subscribe if you haven't hit the bell thank you guys